There we go. Transitivity. And I have a young child at home, and every time I see this word transitivity, all I can think is Hotel Transylvania, too, because she doesn't like the first one, just number two. And wow, what a good show. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> it's actually not as bad as you think it is, Adam Sandler. That's quite great. Congratulations, Adam. Well done. So uh, that was a reinforcer, if you didn't notice it. Probably completely invaluable because you get that saying so often, uh, which is a motivating operation issue. Now, I'm totally off topic, but that half and happens to somebody that's very tired, has been doing videos all day long. Um, anyway, so transitivity, back to the topic at hand, has to do with stimulus equivalence training. In other words, we're doing a special type of match to sample procedure where we teach this. A equals B. <gasps> symmetry. But then we teach B equals C. Another part of symmetry. Then we test. Do you understand A equals C? Because it does. Then you really want to test a little further? Present the C. See if they choose A. Right? So it's a really challenging thing. This is something that is... A little bit, I probably need to update my research on this, but the last time I looked into this topic, it is something that is not necessarily uniquely human, but it's continuously human, right? So meaning that other species sometimes will demonstrate these skills, but humans pretty much always do, right? So is this something that makes us uniquely human? Hell if I know, and I'm not qualified to say that. Um, and every time somebody says that throughout history, they've been wrong, all right? So anyway, um, so transitivity, A equals B, B equals C, C equals A. Therefore, it does, I promise. Stimulus equipment. See you.